If we have faith and we are saved and changed forever, in that place, when Christ saved us, God put the Holy Spirit within our lives. This means that we are empowered for good works. We are not alone. You are not on your own. It is not just you in a scrapbook of trying to do the right things the right way so that you can do all the right things, self-control, yay. That is not what this is about. This is about God saying, I have saved you, I have changed you, and now I am calling you to be different. And the way that you can do that is I am going to give you the strength to do it. I'm going to put you in a community of faith, believers, together, so that we can do this together. So not only are you not alone because we're together, but you're not alone because the Holy Spirit is within you. You have been given the equipment and the empowerment to do good things for God's glory. Thing is, we don't really try. We don't ask for it. We don't say, God, give me some self-control today. God, help me to practice kind words today. It's not even on our radar. Typically, the way my prayers end up, it's like, God, I'm dealing with this. I need you to give me this. God, I'm dealing with this. I need you to fix this. God, could you just make all this right? And God, this person over here, could you just do something with them? Very rarely do I ever stop to say, God, help me to live for you today. Help my words and my life match up so that I can be considered. 